I was sitting there thinking today about the possibility of wealth. Everybody wants to get rich. This is the dynamic that lotteries make most of their money that if I spend this two or 20 or $30 that I will become fantastically wealthy without really doing much. There seems to be two groups of people in the camp of getting rich or not getting rich. The people who feel that they can get rich seem to have these weird, crazy concepts of what is rich, what is middle class, what is poor. And then this other side that don't think that they can become rich seem to have it in the other direction that it's all a scam, it's not possible. Like this one question that was posted up, it's like, what if you get a brain eating bacteria or you're in a crazy car wreck? And I was like, you know, there's insurance for both of those things. And I asked this question, how many people do you know, honestly, who have a brain eating amoeba or a bacteria or whatever? It's very rare. And this is one of the things that both sides typically do. The brain eating amoeba or I'm going to get rich winning the lottery. People seem to cast the atypical, the abnormal, the exceptional as if it's the norm. And it's crazy because there was this one conversation in this Facebook group, I'll remain nameless, and they were talking about was 100K minimum income for an entrepreneur. It was like, what? You gotta be kidding. Anyone who's been watching this channel, anyone that knows anything about business knows that the typical entrepreneur doesn't make much money in the beginning of their business journey. And this is a good thing. You're building a business, you're reinvesting money back in the business. This isn't a bad thing. Actually, Amazon in its first year made $511,000 and had $330,000 of losses. So Jeff Bezos, his first year of business did not make 100K. He did not make 100K, but once again, and people, someone deleted all their comments after I slayed them. The possibility of being wealthy is like this book by my boy, Roger Allen Curry, The Possibility of Sex. The dynamic is the same, it's just the end goal is to completely different. The mere possibility of becoming wealthy triggers people to behave in some crazy ways, just like the possibility of sex can have a man jumping through hoops and acting like a trained poodle or a seal, if you will. Going into what is middle class income, what is rich, I had someone on my Facebook page say 500K was upper middle class income. No, it's not. If you're making 500K as a single person, as which is what I presented, you're rich. And you wanna know why you're rich? Even after obscene taxes, even if you're not a financially astute person, you still have 300K a year to spend. That is close to $30,000 per month, free cash. That's like buying a new Honda every month in cash or a new Camry or whatever they cost. But the thing is, people want to classify that as middle income to make themselves feel better about where they fall in the economic ladder. So you have all of this self duplicity and you don't have people who understand as in the case of the Facebook group, what it really takes to build real wealth, delayed gratification. And you have all these people playing these stupid human tricks and they don't understand for you to become wealthy. The first thing you must do is make the decision to become wealthy. While they're playing all of these games, there is no decision. And without that primary decision to become wealthy, which is a real decision, which is an honest decision, there isn't the genesis that comes from that decision. If you want to be wealthy, it's like, hey, I want to be wealthy. What's the first thing I need to do? I need to get some money, okay? I need to get some money. Well, I, I guess the first thing I need to do is to manage the money I already have to the best of my ability, because that's a good source. That's my economic engine to becoming wealth, my income. All right, so I'm doing that. I'm making good moves. I got my budget, I got my balance. All right, what's, what's the next thing I need to do? I need to make more money. These are the two primary mandates of money, income, and profit. 
manage the money that you make very well and make more money. So while people are in this self delusion or trying to feel better, because like I said, and we should also talk about this. I put out some stuff and some people have conflated this because they don't want to look d deeper. Most of y'all get it. So this is going to be repetitive. I'm sorry about that. The average income in America for a single person is 28 to $32,000 a year. That is poor. Just because a lot of people make that income does not make it middle income. It is poor. And I put middle income starts at a hundred K middle income starts at $100,000 and up for a single person to enjoy a middle-class lifestyle. Now, if you're making the hundred K and you marry Becky Sue and Becky Sue shoves out three kids, guess what? You're now poor. This is what happens. Now, if you are married, you need to have a mate who makes just as much money as you do to keep your middle income status. Because if you make 50, 100 and she makes 150, but there's two of you and there's two cars and there's two sets of student loans and there's two, all this other stuff. So the more people who come in, the more money needs to be made. The possibility of becoming wealthy has people playing some crazy games because I'm in this group and like I said, I'm not gonna mention the name. And I just see the craziness stuff in there that everyone in there who's a verified bona fide business owner typically agrees with me. And I've noticed this because I check Facebook pages, the possibility that you can become wealthy from not doing that much actually is a disservice to you because it keeps you in the mind frame that you don't have to do much. If you want to get rich and we'll quantify that, what is the best way to make a million dollars? Help other people make 5 million. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, Glennon. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. What's, what's this other people stuff? If you want to make $1 million and if you can figure out a way to enrich other people where they make 5 million, your 1 million is just assured. What does that mean? You have to give, you mean you have to do more. You have to plan, you have to partner. And that's how a lot of people are not thinking. They're like, I don't want to do that. It's me, 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 me. I don't want to think about anyone else. I don't want to do anything for anyone else. I want to make as much money as possible doing the least. Anyone who organically became rich knows that the way to get to that level is doing the most. <laughs> Not doing the least, it's doing the most. And this is why the possibility of wealth is so dangerous because you'll have someone who will be thinking, I'm gonna win the lottery. I'm gonna hit a good lick. Someone's gonna acquire my low profit Amazon FBA business and I'm gonna exit out and I'll be rich and I'll be on the island and I'll be with Coco and Coco will be feeding me grapes. And this is the vision. Stop looking at what you're doing as something you hate. If you have a job that you hate, go out and get another job that you like. If you have a business that you hate, start a business that you like. I can tell you from experience that having a business that you like is going to be way more durable than having a business you tolerate. Now, one of the things I'm working on is the money frame, and this will be part of investing yourself. And there are eight elements to the money frame. The money frame will explain how someone who grew up poor, became an athlete, became a rapper, became some type of celebrity and made millions of dollars. And then once that gee whiz moment of what their athletic ability faded, then there went back to the original money frame. See, with the money frame, if you don't expand each corner of the money frame proportionally, it would always come back to its original proportions. And this is why people who win the lottery usually go broke because they're operating from their primary money frame, which is not financial literacy. And this is why typically most of them go back to a position that is worse than what they started off. So be looking out for that. Now, the possibility of wealth is very interesting because this is the tactic that has been used to lure people to buy courses, to buy books, to join Facebook groups. It's a proven tactic. Now, if you notice, I've kind of stepped away back from that because I'm guilty. I've done it a lot. I flex and I stunt. Hey, it's, it's part of the game. But I realize that's not going to help you. 
when I talk to you, it's like, hey, both my cars are paid for and they were paid for before they left the lot. That sounds good, Glendon. Good for you. But how does that help me? And that's where we're going to have these conversations. That's where we're going to talk about this stuff, because you need to understand the sound and solid principles of wealth development. And just because I have a BMW, just because I live in a multi-million dollar neighborhood that says, OK, this guy has some knowledge on how to do that. But does this guy have the knowledge to help me repeat those results? And that's why we're having this conversation. And that's why the channels changed. That's why the thumbnails have been toned down because I don't want the people who are interested in the hustle porn. They're not going to put in the work and they're going to scream scam or, Hey, you know, you're doing it for the gram. You know, funny story. I was, uh, at Phipps Plaza, right? Getting a Valentine's day gift. And there was these two girls near the, the entrance. And this one girl, she was really attractive, a thin, uh, girl. And she had another friend and she was taking the photo and she was all pressed up against the wall. Right. And I, I, I didn't do it, but I regret to do it because I wanted to yell out, doing it for the gram. Because that's what exactly what they were doing. Because she was she had a leg stuck out here and she had an arm. I mean, she was posing. Right. She was posing something fierce. And I was just like that is what happens, because once that picture goes to the gram, it's not going to look like she was taking the picture at the front entrance of Phil's Plaza. It's going to look fantastic. It's going to look spectacular, which brings us into hustler porn, which brings us back to the possibility of wealth. You see that image and it looked good. They got off Marta, man. We're going to do a lot of things differently. We're going to get into the mindsets and the topics of what it takes to change social class. Now, this is not going to be kind. So if you're insulted, I don't care for you to get the money that you want to get. You must become a person of value. Seriously, you know, because if you being who you were currently was um, the person to get you there, you would have the money already since you don't have the money results, evidence of results, then maybe you need to do something else. Now, what I have is a playlist from 2013. I just redid it today. So I want you to go in there, uh, I'll pop up the link up here and just go through and watch these videos because there's some of you, you don't have any money. I get that. You're not going to have any money if you keep thinking the way that you do. So watch this playlist to help you get the right mindset so you can start making these steps and it's going to be a procedure. It's going to be a two, five, six, seven, ten year procedure for you to go from where you are right now to where you want to be. And this is coming from someone who grew up single parent household, a house with no bathrooms, who was homeless at the age of 32. I started getting traction year three. And the only reason I really started getting a lot of traction is because I started my own business. But I didn't just quit my job to do it. I wasn't chasing the possibility of wealth because going through that homeless experience, life got real and I got real and I started to see things the way that they really are versus the way that I wanted them to be. Essentially, you could say the blinders came off and that's what I want to do for you. Now, if you're ready to accelerate your income, I have a few links below of some courses and stuff that are done. Now, let's talk about the art of holding. Now, there's a lot of people who want to go out and create a holding company, but have no business ideal, no concept. And that's not the way to do it. I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. Unless you have some real business interests, some real businesses going on, uh, the LLC structure is not going to help you. But if you do have a sincere desire in your heart to change your economic circumstances, it will be a foundational piece of your wealth development program which will take years just keeping it a buck as they say on these mean internet streets. So with that go below, get into whatever you need to get into. Be sure to watch the playlist and I will see you guys in the next video.